Hello to everyone in the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Cathedral community and all of our friends. This is Father Jonathan. I hope you're doing well. Today, we will continue our series on the lives of the saints. And on the 8th of February, we celebrate the memory of the holy martyr Theodore Stratilatus. The holy great martyr Theodore came from Efkaita, a small town not far from Am Amasia. His courage and oratorical skills commended him to the emperor Licinius, whom appeared who appointed him as captain general and governor of the city of Heraclea. On taking up office, Theodore made it known that he was a Christian and a large section of the population of the city was converted to the true faith by his fiery words. He even said to have confirmed the truth of his preaching by killing a dragon which was terrorizing the inhabitants of the district. Informed of these uh, Untoward, untoward proceedings on the part of his favorite, the emperor summoned Theodore to his presence, but he responded by inviting Lycanius to come to Heraclea, or Heraclea himself with his gold and silver idols. He welcomed the emperor with great pomp and encouraged by night a night vision in which it was made known to him that now is the time to bear witness to his love for, of Christ by shedding his blood. Licinius praised the good order that prevailed in the city and invited the governor to show his piety by offering sacrifice to the gods. Theodore concurred. It was permitted to take the idol home at night in order to worship them before the public sacrifice. So he took the gold statues which the emperor had brought and spent the night breaking them into pieces, which early the next morning he distributed to the poor. At the due hour of sacrificium, a centurion reported to the emperor the great agitation that he had come across when a vagrant in possession of a golden head of a statue of the goddess Artemis. As soon as the emperor had recovered from his astonishment, he had Theodore stretched out on the block and ordered him to be beaten with sinews of oxen 700 times on the back and 50 on the stomach, then to be struck on the back of the neck with a lead-tipped scourge. After that, he was flayed and his wounds were scorched and scraped with a potsherd. During his, these torments, all the holy martyr said was, Glory to thee, my God. After spending a week imprisonment, imprisoned without food, he was nailed to the cross outside the city. Brutal soldiers pierced him with an iron spike, and children made sport of shooting at him with arrows, whereby they put, his, put out his eyes. Patiently endured the, in these sufferings with Christ-like forbearance, towards his tormentors, Theodore remained steadfast in prayer and encouraged his servant Varus to set down in writing the details of his martyrdom. He was left hanging on the cross during the night time, but an angel of God came to take him down to heal his wounds and encourage him to persevere in the end of his contest. The two soldiers who came the next morning to remove the body were amazed to find him alive with no sign of injury. They converted to Christ, bringing the rest of their cohort with them, as well as the soldiers who were sent later to discipline them. Seeing the city in turmoil and on the brink of rebellion on account of the wonder surrounding Theodore, Licinius sent other soldiers to put him to death. Although some Christians wanted to intervene, the holy martyr prevented them, for he knew the time had come to seal his union with Christ and calmly presented himself to the executioners. Having clothed himself with the sign of the life-giving cross, he inclined his head and with the stroke of the sword received the crown of glory. In high triumph, the Christians brought him, brought his body to his family seat of Evkataya, as he requested. His holy relic wrought numerous miracles there in the course of the centuries, so that the town eventually became known, known as Theodoropolis by the prayers of Saint Theodore the Stratilatus. May the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. God bless you. We're here for you. We love you dearly. Don't hesitate to reach out. Call us, email us, leave us a message on social media. Leave us a note in the comment section. If you'd like to support this ministry, remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Again, God bless you and have a beautiful rest of your day.